Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. Today we'll learn the difference between the two words that are very often confused by many people, including the native speakers, let alone the non native speakers. The words are affect and effect. Let's first take care of the pronunciation. Pronunciations rather. Affect with an O. Uh, affect and effect. E. Effect. The pronunciation, of course, was a simple part. The question is how do we keep them separate and how do we understand which word it belongs to what part of speech? Very simple. I'm going to give you a mnemonic device. I'm going to give you a mnemonic device, a memory device that will help us that will help us keep the two words separate. And the mnemonic is very simple. Think of the think of the bird raven. Raven. Raven is a large bird, a large black bird, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like a crow, I think. It's a bird. What it is it really doesn't matter to us. It's just a memory device. Think of raven, and the raven always tells me what to do here because it tells me raven this, this bird always comes to me and tells me to remember it tells me the raven tells me to remember effect is a verb effect is a verb and then it goes on to tell me that effect is a noun and essentially that's all there is that's all there is as far as the meanings are concerned the two words have very similar meanings let's take a look at that it's a noun what, what is an effect? It's a consequence. It's a consequence. It's a net result of something. It is the net result of something. It's an outcome. It's an outcome. If you do something and the question is what was the outcome of it? What was the result of it? What was the impact of it? What was the consequences of it? What was the upshot? What was the upshot? If you recall if you recall, we learned the word upshot in our vocabulary list. I'm going to quickly tell you which, which day it was. It was day number 57. Day number 57. In our regular, in our regular vocabulary videos, in our regular vocabulary videos, just type in vocabulary words, day 57. And if it doesn't pop up, type in my name or type in the name of any of the exams. For example, if you're preparing for GRE, just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, day 57, the video will pop right up. We learn on day number 57, upshot, which means the final result, the final outcome. That's, that's, what, that's what an effect is. It's a noun. This on the other hand is a verb, but it means essentially the same thing. It means to have influence. To, to, to have influence. It means, it means to change something, to change something. It means to have an impact, to have an impact on something. To have an impact on something. It can also, it can also be used to mean to, to, to touch someone, to touch or to move someone, or to move someone emotionally. For example, you might say, well, I, I sympathize with, uh, with your situations, I heard your story, it affected me great, greatly, it affected me greatly, I'm moved by your story, it was a very sad story, um, I, it affected me, uh, it moved me, it touched me emotionally, and so on and so forth. Your story affected me, affected with an, with an A, it had an influence on me. I was touched by it. I was moved by it. It it has an emotional impact on me. That's what that's what it means to affect. So here you can use affect in that sense. For example, you might say that you might say that uh, that uh, it was a tragic it was a tragic event. It was a tragic event. I'm just going to make up something, something gruesome, something sad. Let's say, for example, uh, you, 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 uh, 
your classmates, uh, your team goes on a, on a bus ride to a different town and then there's an accident and uh, nasty things happen in the accident. You said that it was a tragic event. It was a tragic event and everyone was... It affects... It affected everyone involved. Everyone involved. It affected, not affected, it affected everyone. It affected everyone involved. It affected everyone uh, involved. Everyone was affected by it. Everyone was affected by it. That's better. It was a tragic event and everyone was affected by it. Everyone by us affected by it. with an A. And here we are using it as a verb. Everyone was affected by it. It's a verb. It's not a noun. It's not a noun. Whereas this one, effect, is a noun. Is the actual consequence. Is, is the noun. I'm looking for a couple of uh, good examples here. Uh, for example, for example, you might say, well, how do you suppose, how do you suppose, how do, how do you suppose, the new policy the new policy will will affect our budget two people are talking and saying how how do you suppose the new policy will affect our budget here as you can see it's a verb and the answer comes answer comes i have no idea i have no idea or the effects are going going to be what the effects are going to be I have no idea what the effects are going to be as you can see these are not this is a noun the question is the question was asked in a verb form how do you suppose the new policy will affect verb our budget and the answer is I have no idea what I have no idea what the effects are going to be in other words, I do not know how it will affect our budget. Affect and effect. I have no idea what the effects are going to be. The one last thing I want to talk, because I don't want to keep on uh, to, to explaining simple things here. One last thing we do want to do, one last thing that, uh, that we, want, we do want to do is uh, introduce to you an idiom. Actually, a couple of idioms. I need room. We're going to erase this part. We no longer need it. Over here, perhaps we can... Where can we put the idioms? Let's put them right here in the middle couple of idioms we want, to, we want to learn. To take effect. To take effect with an E. What does it mean to take effect? To take effect means to come into force. It means to become Operative. It, be, it means to become, to become valid. To become valid. Let's, let's take a look at this meaning in a sentence. We are done with any of, the, of all of this thing here, and we are talking about now the effect, not the effect. We are talking about effect, the noun. So here is a sentence: the new law. The new law. Will take effect. The new law will take effect with an E. The new law will take take effect on the first of January. When would new law? When would the new law come in force? When will it become operative? When will when will when will it be enforced? Well, the new law, from what I understand, is supposed to come. Will, is supposed to take effect, will take effect on the 1st of January. I hope this explanation will have good effect. I hope this explanation will have good effect on your understanding of the two words. Thank you.